talking about translation within ePlan project. So in this course, we're going to cover two languages, two common ones, English and German. Let's say we normally do our documentation in English, but we want to sell something in Germany to the German company. A, and they said to us they have this requirement that the whole documentation should be in German, including plot frame, all the forms, table of contents, title page, cable overview, terminal diagrams, and so on. So the, the, the end result of this course is going to be we're going to export the circuit diagrams, the ePlan project, to a PDF, and we should have everything clean and completely translated. Now let's see a little bit where we can find this translation module along the functions related to translation in ePlan. Options settings. This is on the level of the user. Translation. This is a default one. When you install ePlan, you get this one, this database. It already some records inside. This one. The second page. The languages. options, parts management, so you choose the properties that you would want to have translated to another language. Now let's go to the level of our project, student one, translation, extend different categories. Now you can set it up according to your need for all of those categories. Let's just go quickly through them. So form and plot frame. Supplementary field. Items. Function text, for example when you have a device and you enter something in the function text that one should also be translated on the level of the page so all the properties they are pretty much all selected part reference On the level of the project, these two fields are the one we defined in our first course on ePlan. Let's say we want also we want to have those translated on the level of the symbol, symbol library, and so on. Free texts, the blue one, path function texts, the purple one, hyperlink text designation, if you use external links to some documentation, data sheets and so on, this hyperlink should be also translated. That's the default setting currently, when you install ePlan. Those are the settings you get. 
in the general on the level of the of our project all the languages you can add a lot of languages source language you could also choose dialogue language which is also English in our case missing translation that's something you want to see this is I, nor I no normally use those signs to represent a missing translation you could also input something like Let's hit apply. Translatable pages on the level of our project. So panel layout, parse list. Cable overview, those are the reports we use. Summarize parts list, table of contents, terminal diagram, title page, structure identifier overview. Let's hit OK. So everything about translation you'll find either over here on the level of the project as I said or on the level of the user. Then next place with pretty much the same functions, utilities, translation and all the functions over here. This is where you're going to translate your project. Export missing word list. We're going to see what this one does. That's, uh, that's an important one. Edit your dictionary. import project texts, the texts we use in the project. And if you want to, you can remove the translation from your project. Test input and settings. So these are the settings on the level of, your, of our project. You don't have to go to options or settings and over there, it's quicker to just stay over here in the utilities translation and so on. Everything is over here. Pages, the database, and the project independent settings. Okay. That's it for this video. In the next one, we are going to start to work on our database, we're going to export some texts and so on.